Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Recently, I had an opportunity to sit down with Cami Kotler and just talk about a lot of her memories and our combined memories of our time together on the Waltons. So please welcome Cami Kotler. So what are some of your most favorite or memorable episodes? <laughs> Um, superlatives are my least favorite questions. Cause I like most, um, I, I mean, top five, I'm, top three. <laughs> yeah. If I'm going to watch an episode, I like watching old episodes cause it's, it's fun to watch us when we're little. Um, like I would happily watch the homecoming every Christmas. I think I do watch it every yeah. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's amazing. I think like you're amazing. Like, oh. like that characterization is like one of the best teenagers who ever walked the earth. Oh, thank um, you. I could just watch it all. Yeah. I, mean, I, I spent, well, I was six when we made it and I spent like the next six years waiting to be a teenager because I somehow thought I would immediately turn into Mary Ellen. <laughs> um, I was a little disappointed, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the old shows I like to watch the most because we're adorable and because um, there were so many remarkable people involved, like writers and filmmakers and the director of photography and the actors. And so that's fun. Um, my memories of shows tend to revolve around ones where something unusual happened, right? So if we burn the house down or I fell off a Ferris wheel or like those, those were more interesting to me to make because, because they were technical. And um, as a kid who'd always pretty much been on the same show, I think I, I really perceived it as something very technical you know, like you learn your lines and you hit your mark and you clear for your key light and you make the cameraman happy and you make sound happy. And so I thought of it more as that kind of activity than, you know, character development or something more like acting ish. Um, so I think those were the shows that I like to do and I'd like to remember the most. Cool. Yeah, no, I, I, I totally understand. One of my favorite episodes to film was The Wager because I got to show up at work and ride horses all day long. I wouldn't say it was one of the best episodes that was done as a whole, but it's memorable to me because it was not just showing up and sitting around the, the kitchen table or something. Yeah, I always tell yeah. people we, we have a completely different experience of the episode than the viewer does. Yeah. Right, so we enjoy episodes because we get to do something exciting or go someplace fun, or maybe because the guest star is super fun to hang out with. And so we just enjoy being with them. Yeah, I get asked a lot about different actors who guested and sometimes I barely worked with them. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even if I did, there isn't something specific that stands out about them if they just did a an episode, other than I think I would have remembered if they were not nice people or you know somehow had a real attitude. And I really don't remember that happening. I think they did such a brilliant job of casting that I don't really remember anybody ever being a problem on the set or difficult to work with or having a, you know, some diva attitude. Um, so I just pretty much remember people being, oh, they were clearly lovely to work with and I enjoyed working with them and they came in, they did their job and they left and, you know, I didn't stay in touch with them, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's, it's the normal flow of things, right? Yeah. Except some of the recurring characters, of course, you know, John Ritter always stands out as somebody who was always fun to have around the set. Yeah. <laughs> you spoke briefly before about the Ferris wheel. And of course, that was a pretty pivotal episode in so many ways because of, you know, the action stuff that you did. And also because that was the episode during which Ellen Corby had her stroke. Um, so anything in particular about that? What are the, what are your memories on that episode? Um, it's funny because if I didn't remember it as the episode where Ellen had her stroke, like mm -hmm. I remember that I remember sort of Ellen having her stroke or, or missing and people being worried about her and then hearing that she, she was in the hospital. Like I remember that, but I hadn't tied it to the episode at all. Mm -hmm. um, in the episode, I just remember the director coming to me like a week or so early and saying, how do you feel about heights? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. I'm not crazy about them. He said, what about Ferris fails? I go in and I'm not really a, I'm not really an amusement park kind of person. Like I don't do those things on the whole. He's like, okay, well, we'll do our best to minimize the amount of time you spend in the Ferris wheel. 
like, what is he even talking about? Um, and then I got, it was not bad, you know, um, because it wasn't, I spent, all, I spent all night on the Ferris wheel, you know, so it was a whole evening shooting. And that's always exciting if, if we're filming at night, they have to get special permission because we're kids and, and then we're on the, on the lot at night and they have to feed us dinner. And so, you know, anything uh, new and different is always exciting. Um, and I love to work with the director, Larry Topkin, and, and there are lots of problems to solve, you know, like how to make it look real. And um, remember they tied me to the, the little rocking, what do you call it? In the Chair. Chair, like the the the, the bucket Basket, or whatever you, you know, that. I don't know. <laughs> whatever those things are that you sit in in a Ferris wheel, they they tied me to it with a rope because they they unlatched the latch because I had to push it out and rock. Right. Um, remember that, and that was all fun. Um, and then it was fun trying to figure out how to make it look like I'd fallen down the stairs. Um, the only scary bit was when they filmed the dream sequence because we did it on stage twenty six. And Larry wanted to get like footage of me kind of falling like from below. So they put me in like a pair of metal shorts that laced up really tightly and had like a big loop in the back to hang me up. And they just basically suspended me about 10 feet up in the air um, with black cloth behind me. And then I just had to lean forward with the camera right underneath me um, and then pretend I was falling with the fan blowing on me. And that was scary. Cause I'm not like you, you know, you'll like walk tight ropes and jump out of airplanes and stuff. I'm much more normal than you, Judy. I find those things horrifying. Um, I can't even do a cartwheel cause I don't like to throw my head at the ground. Mm -hmm. um, so that sensation of having to lean forward so that I was horizontal was really scary. And it felt like I would just keep tipping. Like I would mm -hmm. just end up spinning. So that scared me. And I remember sort of being a little weepy, which worked perfectly because I was supposed to be having a nightmare. Um, and our our teacher, Glenn, was on the set. And I remember afterwards he said, I kept thinking, should I stop them? Because you seemed a little upset. He goes, but you also were taking direction just fine and, and responding and talking to the director. So I decided that it was okay. And I go, yeah, well, it's okay. I'm glad we got it. It was a little scary, but but I'm proud that I pulled it off basically. Yeah, no, and, and of course, none of the rest of us were there when that was shot. By so, way, yeah. yeah, cause we weren't like, we, we didn't, like you wouldn't hang around watching people shoot if you weren't in the scene. Right, not, not beyond, you know, the novelty wore off really fast early on in the show. And then it was just like, hey, I have some time off. I don't need to hang around. Yeah. <laughs> Cammy knows what she's doing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we, we didn't sit and watch each other work. Yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, you know, I might think a scene was going to be interesting and watch it just for something to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but even then it's hard, right? Because there's a bunch of people crowded around who, who need to be there. Who would you say, how were your relationships with the other actors, with the rest of us on the show? Who did you feel closest to? And I know for me, it changed over the years because our ages changed. So what was your, what did you find? I think it was the, similar to what you say. It changes over the years. Like when I was first on the show, I mean, what, they're like three or four years before, between David and me. So I was like six or seven and he was like nine or 10 kind of a thing. Um, and we would play. So the first couple of years, it was David and Cammy playing and we would play. We would go to Midwest Street and like rob banks. Um, <laughs> We would go to Western Street and like have shootouts in the middle of the road and like go in and out of the saloons and because all the sets are just sitting empty. Um, and, you know, we could get in the old cars and pretend we were Bonnie and Clyde and like <laughs> off the running board, nothing moving, but just our imaginations. Right. And then occasionally we would play hide and seek and occasionally David would hide from me and never come out because I think <laughs> of me tagging along. I do remember some of that. Um, and then as he got too old to play. Um, Mary was kind of coming into her teen years and I just tagged along and watched her be hilarious. I mean, Mary is a highly entertaining person anyhow, but as a teenager, you know, she had secret languages and strange voices and weird characters she'd invent. And she was just an endless, you know, source of fascination for me. So I just tagged along and watched Mary. Wow. Um, uh, yeah. I don't, I, I don't remember that part. I think because me and John and Eric were sort of the oldest and closest in age that 
you know, I didn't necessarily relate to you and David and, and even Mary early on. And it wasn't until she was a little further into her teens, I think that then I got closer to her than the boys, you know, because then it became boys and girls kind of thing, you know? Yeah. No, that, I think a bit later on, it was like you and Mary and um, Leslie were really yeah. a little tight group. Yeah. And you would come tag along at times yeah. and we'd be in the dressing rooms and we'd be having a conversation. Somebody would be like, I don't know if we should be talking about this with Cammie here because she's too young to have this, uh, yeah. what we considered was an oh so adult conversation. Yeah. We were having oh so adult conversations and I was trying to be invisible so you wouldn't kick me out. You wouldn't know. And we'd worry about who had on a body mic and whether the sound mixer was listening or not. It's like, oh, is your mic on? Yes, I remember that too. Like the girl's looking over at the sound mixer and he's like, He's smiling. That was, yeah. that was fascinating. Like, oops. Yeah. <laughs> you were all to hear so many things and keep yeah. so many secrets for people. <laughs> it, was, it was good. I mean, it really was like having older sisters. You know, you guys were super protective. The, the number one thing is people are always protecting me. Ah. I was the baby. And my mom just recently talked about, because I said, did you ever worry about me? Like I was like, I was on the set all day. I was going to, you know, parades and fundraisers. And she said, no, she says, cause you were always with your Walton family. She said, I, I just have really clear memories of like handing you to John Walmsley and being like, goodbye. See you four hours from now at the end of the parade route. Right. So I've been asked if Ralph and Michael were like real parents to us at all, or Will and Ellen. And, um, I didn't notice that particularly. Um, although Michael has talked about how she and Ralph, you know, how, how they felt that way about us. But I, I wouldn't say I ever specifically felt that. Um, I think with Michael, because I mean, I have a fabulous mom. Like I've won the, like the mom lottery. I just, you know, no one's luckier than me. When your mom's I'm, great. Yeah. Right. I have a great mom. Um, but my mom is also super sensible. You know, she's just a profoundly rational person. And I'm not always as rational as her. And there were definitely times like in my like preteens and early teens where I would get super emotional about something and she would just be mystified. And she would say, can you, can you talk to Michael about it? Um, Cause Michael is just a huge heart, right? She just feels. So you could go to Michael with any uh, irrational feelings and she's there for you. And she's, you know, empathizing and connecting. And, and my mom actually went and thanked her, I think when I was a teenager and just said, thank you for being there and for wow. supporting Cami. And, and, um, and she said, she thought it was always really important for a teenager to have like an aunt figure, like someone who isn't your mom, but is old and wise and can give you advice. Um, and I think yeah. I, you know, Michael did that. You and Mary and Leslie did that as a little team. Mm -hmm. um, so I, so I, I did feel, um, you know, like the sort of that, that connection with Michael, I feel like Ralph was a little mystified by children. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I ever sat down and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him throughout the entire series. You know, not that he wasn't around and not that we didn't as a group have fun and, and, and talk, but, you know, I think both my relationship with Michael and Ralph changed when I became actually an adult. Thank you, Cammy. It was such fun to sit down and talk with you again. I really appreciate her making the time to spend with all of us. And that's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons, about me and Cammy Kotler and the Waltons. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time for more Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and another segment of Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.